Hey guys, I'm Levi Gates and welcome to Detox. Today, I've got Mr. Matt Ward from Hawks Detail, Mr. Steve Parrish of Dirt Dart Mobile Bike Repair Service. It's yes. an amazing company. And then, Mr. Ivan LaCroix, Optimum Polymer Technologies. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, this one we're gonna talk about marketing. So, Matt and I, of course, are in a shop. Steve is mobile. Even though he does repair bikes and mm -hmm. detail cars, he mm -hmm. is mobile and works out of a trailer. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I've been in as many years of running a shop as well as some mobile rigs. Right. Um, we're going to talk about how to market that kind of stuff. For us, Matt and I have been detailing in the Boise area. I've been doing it for 19 years. Matt's been with it for 10. And combined, just this little shop in the last four years, we've just used word of mouth for most of it. We've used Facebook, Instagram. Uh, social media has been a big thing for us. Um, we don't do any yellow page or you know advertising or any of that kind of stuff. We've done a couple boosted posts. We're doing AdWords just to see what we can get out of it. Um, but most of it's been our web page, word of mouth, uh, just the fact that people know who we are and have detailed their cars previous years. We have customers that have been following us for the last 10 years, um, and we've been you know they still get coatings, they get maintenance washes every six weeks. They, uh, they're, they're really great customers that we have, as well as the dealerships and things that we service as well. Um, they just know of us and our reputation. Um, recently, we've started doing more car shows, things of that nature. Um, can't really think of much else for us that we've... Your cars and coffee. Cars and huge. coffee, we've been doing that with in conjunction with the RAG company. Yeah. Um, that's been a lot of fun for us, just because we get to go um, more or less talk about towels and products that we love using which is all the optimum line uh, which really helps mm -hmm. so steve ivan which one wants to go first oh, no, steve all right i'm steve Parrish. i own dirt dart mobile bike service been in business about 23 years and uh love to detail bicycles cars whatever but mostly um, my marketing has just kind of been gorilla kind of like word of mouth um, showing up to events, uh, cycling events and that kind of stuff and just kind of being out in the trenches and and just uh, you know getting more people and talking to people. In fact, uh, some of my customers know you guys through detailing through cars because they know, they go, oh, you know Levi? It's like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, he does my car all the time. So my doctor and those guys, they all know you too. So it's kind of interesting how we all kind of cross market each yep. other and kind of help each other out and I always speak highly of Levi with this work that he does. And I always speak same highly of Steve for yeah. his stuff too. So he helps me out. It's kind of a co-marketing. It's not the exact same business, but yep. it's co-marketing within the community. Yeah. yeah. As well as we teach a lot of the same products. He uses a lot of the same product. Of, he uses Optimum products as well, as well as Rag Company Towels. Yes. Uh, just when you're degreasing a bike or yep. cleaning a bike for a customer in a tune-up. Yeah. Exactly. And educating those customers on how to use those products. Now, one one uh, thing that Steve does marketing wise is his trailer and his truck. Yep. They're always spotless. They're exactly. Clean. They're beautiful. Uh, he just spent the day today polishing the aluminum on his trailer. Yep. There's not many guys that polish the aluminum on their trailer on a regular basis. Steve right. does. And his trailer. You open the doors of the trailer, and it's as clean inside and as organized. It is outside. Organized, definitely. And mm -hmm. organized. Yeah, it's a work of art in there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, that attracts people. They look at the trailer and say, yes. "Wow, this guy must be good." Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, and you do corporate stuff as well. So yep. uh, some of these, some of the guys that watch these videos are mobile detailers. So you might be able to uh, use some of Steve's techniques to uh, better yourselves or your business as well. Um, what are some of the things you do with uh, sure. corporations so, and things like so that? So on my website, dirtdart.com, you can go on there and you guys can go on there and check it out too and see there's a place to sign up for um, a, a flyer and then, you, and then there's another place you can download a sign-up sheet and then people sign up. I show up in the morning at 9 o'clock, people have their bikes there. I fix the bikes out throughout the day and then at 5 o'clock they come pick their bike up, they leave, it's done, it's ready to go. I've been working at, at a local hospital here, fix, fixing about five or six spikes one day, and I had to have my um, windshield replaced on my on my truck. So I had the, my windshield guy come over at the same time. He's tear, tearing the front window out while I'm washing bikes and tuning bikes in the back of the trailer. He's got his little van mobile service set up next to mine. I take a picture of that and I said, "Look at this mobile working on mobile, and it's great, you know." And the, the mobile thing is a is a trend itself. It, it's just it's growing so fast over the last years that 
it's just amazing that what we can do these days um, with just being able to just to go to them and fix them. And I do see the car detailers from time to time, but I don't see a lot of signage on the side of their their trailers or their trucks or anything. It just might say pressure wash or something. But there's a few guys that are doing it top notch out there. But there's mm -hmm. a lot of people that can just learn by putting some nice signs on there and detailing yeah. the outside of it and keeping it nice and neat. I mean, you don't want somebody to pull up and maybe uh, you know work on your stuff when their stuff hasn't been taken care of either. Right. So kind of get the ducks in the row. Yeah. And that's kind of the same thing with the shop too. Having a nice appearance, having the yeah. shop, people enjoy coming in. They they see some products there. They they get excited about talking about cleaning their car with you guys. Well, and you also you you dress well, so you present yourself yes. in a professional manner. You've got your apron on. Yep. Um, and so I've seen you downtown. I'll be going down to get lunch down here in Boise, and I'll see Steve pulled off on the side and found a parking spot. He's got all the bikes mm -hmm. lined up, and people go by, and when they see that, you've got them all spaced out properly. You've got your trailer open. Yep. Uh, that just draws people in. Yeah. It also draws the other businesses and people that see that and go, what's that guy doing? Is he always oh, tuning bikes up? Hey, we've yeah. got employees that ride bikes. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, Boise is a very bike friendly Huge. city. Yes. Um, we have bicycle lanes everywhere, bicycle paths, we've got the foothills. Uh, if you don't ride a bike, I am sorry. You are missing out <laughs> when you live in Boise. Uh, so, but yeah, that's all great stuff. The little, yes. Just those little things, but you're mostly word of mouth as well. Yes. Yep, and like he said, the trailer, word of mouth, um, going to events, just like what you guys go to, the cars and coffee. You hit with, bike races. With the Rag Cobra, and yes, exactly. I show up at bike races, and some of them are pretty dirty, and I get in there and clean them off quick, and I, a lot of times I don't have access to water, so I just use O&R, and I wipe off the bikes and keep turning the rags over and use the rags from the rag company, and um, man, it's just amazing how fast you can get them cleaned up without having to use a lot of water. Right. I can't carry a lot of water. I right. mean, carry 25 gallons of water. Yeah. So has to be good techniques for that. But. Yeah. Well, cool. Yeah. Ivan, what's your experiences? Yeah. Well, marketing for us, uh, I'm in Quebec, or my shop is in Quebec, and it's a little different. People use the internet to find our phone number, and it stops mm -hmm. there. Yeah. I've never had a customer send me a text message. I've never had a customer send me an email. They come in. They call not to say, how much is it to detail my car? It's, when can I make an appointment to come show you my car? Mm, yeah. So it's a very different, a different, and yeah, nice. different mentality. Uh, we use AdWords a lot, and that's been a very positive influence on our marketing uh, strategy. And AdWords, that's something very important when you're using AdWords. Google has teams of employees that are there to help you, and it's free. You call Google, you say, I want help setting up my AdWords account. They will put an, an account rep on your case and help you out because the more successful you are with your AdWords campaign, guess what? The more successful they are. Yep. Because you're going to use AdWords more. If you make money from AdWords, you're going to be using AdWords more and more and more and more. Yep. So it's a snowball that they, they want to create. They want to help you. Uh, yeah, we just did it ourselves. Yeah. But did you call Google? We did not. No. Matt. Doing it yourself, you know, doing it yourself is great, but you know, uh, if you listen to the Optimum Synergy podcast, we have uh, Ron Harris on there, mm -hmm. and he did two podcasts about Google marketing, and Ron has been doing AdWords marketing for a number of years, and he still calls Google to get help. Yeah. Well, they call Matt. They they, they called us. Called us. Yeah. We yeah. set it up, trying to figure it out on our own, and then they called us and said, "Let's get this working a little better for you." Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, because the more money you make from it, or the better better ROI you get from it, right. the happier they are, and the happier you are. So, it, it's a good thing. Uh, Google AdWords, you know, it's knowing what your knowing what your local competition is, knowing what you're doing, the aspect of your shop, your mobile unit, whatever it is, having that at the best it can be at all times. Your presentation. You guys have beautiful shirts. Mm -hmm. Your employees are always well dressed. The shop is clean, the outside of the shop is clean, the grass is cut, et cetera, et cetera. Right. It's all an image. And yes. fostering and keeping that image becomes part of your marketing campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, for myself, one of my fun marketing things, I have an old grooming, uh, an old bread, or you know. An old bread wagon? Yeah, well people mm -hmm. use them as uh, food trucks now. Yeah, but yes. I use it as advertising, and I have a section of it that is polished aluminum, I have a section of it that's painted, I have plasti-dip, opti-coated, everything's on there. But it's just a cool old truck, 
and we use it as a sign because our city sort of didn't like our sign they found it too big but having a truck parked by the side of the road hey go right ahead yeah and <laughs> i drive around town when I, you know, go get lunch for the employees or whatever, Great I'll idea. drive the grooming around. Yeah. Uh, there's an event in town. It just happens to get parked close to that event. Yeah. Uh, and that's garnered a lot of work. And it just draws attention. People look at it. It's cool. It's fun. It's It gets their name in, your, in their head. Right. So they can remember. Oh, yeah. well, exactly. Need to go you know, it sort of has a cool little vintage look to it. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's no fancy wheels or mags and... But yeah. it just, it's a fun truck and I enjoy driving it. You know, you slide the door open and you're hanging out there. Uh, seatbelt optional. Yeah, well, no, I use the seatbelt. I'm a Canadian after all. Uh, you know, so we're into safety. And I used to, do, ra I used to do race car safety, so that's important. To me. Okay. But uh, so, you know, marketing is what you make of your marketing. Mm -hmm. And don't expect an instant return from your marketing. People think, I'll put it out in a newspaper and if I invest $300 in that ad, I better get $3,000 worth of work out of it. Right. It's not how it works. No. You have to be in front of your customers at all times. And it's as simple as handing cards out. It's as simple as having that sign by the side of the road, having your, mm -hmm. your mobile unit lettered and Parking. visible. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, marketing is a consistent effort that's ongoing 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. You're always marketing. Yeah. And the day you stop marketing is the day you go out of business. Yep. Keep priming yeah. and pump. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's business, you have two modes. You're growing or you're regressing. You can't stand still. Right. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah, true. One of our little fun ones that we don't really get a lot of business out of, we just recently got uh, one of our giveaways that we donated a couple of years ago. We realized we were like, we should probably put an expiration date on some of these gift certificates <laughs> yeah. that we were donating. But uh, we... Uh, help sponsor the local hockey team. The, uh, it's a semi-professional league, but uh, our sticker, our big, our logo, the Warhawk, is up on the on the boards, and it's in the in the programs. And then we give out, you know, uh, interiors and wash and waxes and things like that as gift certificates to give away during halftime. Um, mostly we like it because we get to get hockey tickets and mm -hmm. go see a couple games, and, and it's it's a uh, it's more fun for us. Um, than, than getting it out. But it's something that we actually get a little bit of a benefit, a little bit of a perk out of that even though we're not getting the money, so to speak, of, or, or, or the business aspect of it, um, it gets us more well-known. Uh, I do like it. We'll get every once in a while get a photographer that's in the crowd taking shots of the team playing in the middle of the game and they'll get a picture of my logo and there'll be some action happening right in front of it. And We'll get a picture like that every mm -hmm. once in a while. And I, I enjoy that. That makes it uh, you know, something different, but something fun to do as yeah. well. So, and again, the guys can go out, take their wives out, take their kids, go to the hockey game, enjoy themselves on a Friday night or something like that. And it just makes it fun for us. So yeah. appreciate it. Thanks guys for giving us some great little stories and suggestions. Uh, remember guys, if you have any suggestions or comments, uh, maybe extra marketing tips, make sure you subscribe, uh, and post them in the con or well, Subscribe to the YouTube channel right here and make sure that you leave your comments below uh, so that our fellow detailers can also uh, learn this stuff, help each other out, share ideas. That's what these uh, videos are all about. Uh, that's why we do them. So again, Matt, thanks. Thank you. Steve, Thank thanks. You. Ivan, always a pleasure. My fun. And hey, how do we get a hold of you, Levi? Email me at levi at the ragcompany.com and let me know what you think of these shows we love doing them we have a lot of fun doing them uh, and we will keep doing them so again make sure you subscribe and right here well right over there actually <laughs> right here at the rag company youtube channel thanks for watching <laughs>